Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our carbon technology. Carbon magic, if you will, because this material type is really magic if we start looking at it and breaking it down. Activated carbon base is carbon-12. That's what we're made of, right? As human beings, it's the basis for our DNA and building blocks and all of that good stuff that we learned in school. Activated charcoal, we want to think about it as charcoal. That's the easiest way to explain it because it um, looks a lot like charcoal, only it's in granular form. But if you look at the structure of it, it's the carbon with pores, you know, that's the activated part. So it's the holes that are in it. Looks like a small meteor when you hold it up. You can see light through all the pores and stuff. So how did I discover that? Well, I was in the kitchen one day of our office and this is back in the 80s, 90s, when they had those filters on faucets, remember? Well, this one had an LED light on it and it was blinking. I was like, water, electricity, what's going on here? Never seen a, that kind of situation before. They're common today, but that's when they were first coming on the market. So I tried to get it to come apart and I couldn't, so I hit, hit it with a hammer and all these granules started coming out on the countertop. I looked up one and I held it up and I thought, wow. And then my assistant came in and she says, uh, I said, what's this? And she says, well, it's a filter for water. And I said, oh, okay. So she goes, we also have them in the vents uh, of the building. And I said, oh, huh. So it traps particles and cleans the air and stuff like that. She goes, yes. And so I started looking at it, and it was right during that time that I was developing the cabinet for our ACDA series, <clears throat> excuse me, our diaphragmatic absorption series. So I, you know, I kind of put two and two together, and I thought, well, wait a minute. I'm looking for an internal cabinet fill. This material type is used to filter air and water. Sound is in air and water. Maybe we have something here. So we tried it, tested it, and it worked great, but there were some drawbacks. The holes were not large enough. The density of the granule was not strong enough to really absorb sound energy in air. And another property of the carbon is that if it absorbs moisture, it loses performance. And that's what it does. Car you know, it's designed to absorb things. So. We design, redesigned the whole thing. Still a carbon-12 base material, but we manufacture our own. We control the poricity, count, the hole diameter, and the granule density. And we treat it so it doesn't retain moisture. That's why we give 15-year guarantees with it. Over-the-counter stuff won't work. If you put it in your units in six months, it won't work. It'll be worthless. So you did all that work for nothing. So, it's so powerful, if you look at this, I couldn't believe this number myself. If you take a tablespoon of it and you crush it on a flat table, rolling pin, let's say this, you get about 100 square foot of absorption surface area. I was like, wow, I mean, that's, that's a lot of surface area, right? And I'm always harping on surface area. Well, here's kind of the reverse engineering process of that, right? So. We got pores, granules, surface area coverage. We got everything we need. We put about 50 pounds each in our 10 to 12 in our carbon panel. That's why they're 230 pounds a piece. And then we use that perforated absorber. And here's a graphic picture of that, see? That's a perforated absorber, air movement with the holes through the unit. And the thickness of the unit, when we put it in our uh, panels, or carbon panels, or ACDA series in the carbon panels, the thickness of that filter increases rate. So when we build it into your wall in the room, we can increase the rate of absorption at that position in the room. Okay, here's a room wall. Here's the studs. You may have a 40 hertz problem here. You may have a 50 here. You may have 36 inches of space between the 40 and the 50. Well, we could increase the rate of absorption in this stud space and this stud space to manage the 40. 
depending on where the 50 is in relation to the 40 in the response. So it's a, it's a really a fine tuning method for your room. I had a client tell me, he says, well, the room sounds so good because we tune the room every 14 and a half inches. And I said, oh, the distance between the studs. He goes, yeah, each one of those is a diaphragmatic absorber. And I said, yes, it's quite right. That's the way it was designed. But we have that kind of control every 14 and a half inches. So nothing's going to get away from you in terms of low frequency. In the middle and highs, we can manage those easily with absorption and diffusion. I wish the low frequencies were as easy to manage as the mids and highs. Life would be a lot easier, okay, and cheaper. <laughs> I think uh, low frequency management can be two to three times middle and high frequency. I think those are the ratios we use. So rate is thickness. We already went over that. We put it inside the diaphragmatic absorber. So a little bit of background on the carbon. We're going to do another series. We've got some new products coming out and we're going as a result of the last three years of listening and compiling data on sales and you know your phone calls, the data that you give me on phone calls. I write all that down. You know that's why those of you that we talk, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to gather information for our, so we can improve our product line and get you guys something that you want. I know lightweight. I get it, but. I haven't figured out a way to make things light and get the performance we've got. And I just won't sacrifice performance. I just won't do it. So carbon magic, it's uh, what we manufacture for our diaphragmatic absorption in the ACDA 10, 12, and the carbon panel. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.